Good evening everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel, Sunday evening. Um, I've taken Max out for a walk and I've been home approximately about an hour now and I've just been sat down going through um, the Facebook, adding some reels to Facebook and I've just been relaxing. Um, yeah, so I'm back home. I left the building at the usual time. Um, I live by myself. I've not had such a bad weekend. I've enjoyed myself. I went out to the shop this morning. Um, I've got my pets to keep me company. My cat is a little devil, so... He, he really does uh, take up a lot of my time but then that's good because when you're on your own time can go slow but I have uh, a lot of time taken up by Harry creating havoc he tipped over water this afternoon he jumped into the bath and stuck started messing in the bath so I had to clean the bath out um, so he just takes up a lot of my time before I went out I wrote in my diary um, um, unfortunately someone else has passed away Steve Harley has died the Cockney Rebel frontman 73 of cancer so just after I took a phone call this afternoon I learnt that Steve Harley had died so I just note it down in my diary what goes on every day um, so I've written up my diary it's also got useful references, I write down what the doctors said, little bits and pieces and I go back to it when I can't remember something, which is handy for me. Um, I go through my phone, there's been no phone call since 9.55am where I took a call from my mum, there has not been a phone call since. So around 7ish. I, I went out with Max by myself and I went um, out the back and I went down the bottom in Common Creek Wolf threw some rubbish in a bin I know it sounds boring but it's just my dad <laughs> I walked, I tried to walk along the path there was a woman with a child behind me um, so I walked past her, then I just, I could smell weed, drugs. Immediately I start to feel dizzy, my eyes start stinging, and you know, I'm a bit unsteady on my feet, and uh, I could smell a load of weed. There were some people in the children's playground, they sit inside where the slide is, um, so I went round, the, round them, I didn't go near there. Carried on walking down the path, opposite opposite, I could hear a la lad talking really, really loudly. And it was really loud. I mean, usually people like to keep their conversations to themselves. I mean, when I'm out with somebody, I don't start shouting all my business so that everybody could hear it. This one lad seemed to be like, I could hear what he was saying, basically. And I was taking no notice. They were coming off the field and I wasn't going on to the field. I wasn't going on to the field this evening. So I just turned around and went the other way. But they seemed, it's the one bloke seemed to be shouting his business all over the place. And I really don't want to hear other people's business. Um, so I carried on walking. I just could smell weed absolutely everywhere. It makes Max sleepy. 
he's been indoors and he's just done nothing but lie down like flat. Um, so I came back into the flat, um, I put the telly on, uh, the Adams family was on, I just switched it off because I don't want to obviously tape it. I've been watching the Adams family with Uncle Fester, that's on. Um, so basically today I've been by myself. I could have gone out if I wanted to, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I, I find it nice and peaceful indoors. And um, I don't like weed. Never have. The beaches that I went on to the year before last, it was just people smoking weed everywhere on the beach. And dogs pooping. I think I went to Canberra Sands and it, that's horrible. That's not for me at all. The toilets were disgusting. They were full of poop. And the beach was full of dogs. The dogs were shitting on the beach. And people were smoking drugs. And it's not for me. Not for me at all. I, I mean, that's why I don't go out. And I'm quite happy to be by myself. So all this business of couples like looking at me, holding hands, kissing, I'm not interested. I've been there, I've done that. It hasn't worked out, so I'm happy by myself. I'm mucking about on WhatsApp, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that anymore. So I've said goodbye to all the dating sites and I mean it completely and um, I don't want to text people on Facebook, I don't want to text them on Instagram, I don't want to text them on X and I don't want to text them on YouTube and I don't want to text them on TikTok, right? As far as I'm concerned that's it, That that's it. And people know I'm okay because they go down my YouTube, they go down my Facebook, they go down my Instagram. So they don't even need to message me, do they? Do they? Complete waste of time. Just trying to... All it was, was... <clears throat> get woken up first thing in the morning by a message off somebody. Either my iPhone pinging get woken up first thing in the morning and then derogatory messages or messages I've got this, I'm doing this, I've got that and I'm quite happy with my life I am and then it would be lunchtime if they hadn't got me outside and they hadn't got me upset I would get a text lunchtime oh I'm off to eat my dinner with so and so I'm going to go out with my nan today, I'm going to do this and we're going to go there. And that's all it ever was. And in the evening, um, they wouldn't talk to me all day and then they would expect me to talk to them in the evening. And by that time I was tired and fed up and I didn't want to talk to them anyway. Nobody picks me up and puts me down. No one manipulates me or treats me like a puppet. Why? And if somebody ignores me, I ignore them. Um, what can I say? I'm a woman. I was looking for a single ma male. But, uh, you know, a lot of people on dating sites, they do. They want to muck about. They want to cheat. They want to muck about and use you. And, you know, I don't want that. <laughs> So I'm just going to carry on and they're going to carry on trying to annoy and upset and it will backfire on them. It will. As for what was going on before in here, take no notice of it. 
I really don't. I've got my own life to live. And other people's lives ain't nothing to do with me. They, they, ha they haven't. I don't get jealous and I'm not interested in what other people have got. I'm, I've got to focus on what, where I want to go, what I want to do, because I've, I, I've tried my best, I've given my best to people, and they've shit on me. They've stabbed me on the back, stabbed me in the back, shit on me and made fun of me. And, and just, that's it. I look after me now. I was, I was always worried about what other pe people think. Oh my God, oh my God. And helping other people, giving them my last bit of money. And you get stabbed in the back and shut on. And I'm looking after myself now. And yeah, I have got £11 in the bank. But I had a £50 scratch card, which I redeemed this morning. I've still got money from that. And I've got money left over from a few days ago. So I've got money. So when I go to the dentist Tuesday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have money to pay the, pay the train fare and I'm going to have money to get something with because I'm careful. But I couldn't see that happening. That was a wicked thing to do to me. That was really wicked and hateful. But I, I'll get through it. I'm not having money, money in my bank for two weeks. I'll get through that. I don't drive, so it's not going to stop me going out because I don't need, to, I haven't got a car, so I don't need to buy petrol to put in my car. So it's not going to stop me going to work because I don't go to work. I haven't got a car, so I don't need money for petrol. I stay mostly indoors to keep safe. And no doubt they'll try something tomorrow. Or the day afterwards or the day after that when I came home this evening cars they watch you go across the road and when they see you they start accelerating so you have to run across the road before you run over they do honestly some cars see you cross the road and they start accelerating like they're gonna knock you over power of the, what some people feel when they get behind the wheel of a car some people shouldn't be driving especially if they've been smoking drugs or drinking but as we all know there are no there's no police about in midway i don't see a police officer so they're just you know endangering their own lives endangering the passengers in their car and they're going to cause themselves, uh, and who's in that car, uh, an accident. <laughs> the ones that are smoking under the influence of drugs and drink. I'm boring, but I, you know, I don't think what some people is, is doing is exciting. I think it's dangerous. It certainly doesn't excite me. So I've come into my flat and I'm just going to relax and rest and take no notice. And if people want to listen to what my conversations and what I'm saying, that's their problem. I couldn't care less. I'm certainly not interested in what other people are doing. Because I've got my own life and my own mind and I don't copy other people. I've got my own style and I don't copy other people. When I, what I was saying in my previous video, I used to work, I, I was put in a women's refuge. And after I lived in a women's refuge in Gloucester for six months, I was put onto second stage housing. And I was put in this underground flat. It was like in the cellar. It was like underground, so nobody could see me. And it wasn't my mum that was put in a cellar. It was me. I, I, 
and I, I every time I went out it was worse than what I go through now and I was pregnant going through it so it's bad enough what I put up with now but I was pregnant in Gloucestershire and I would sit in the garden and I would get a 19 year old black beauty it's supposed to be a women's refuge right women's safe house so this she because she came downstairs in a thong a thong she knocked on my door so i was on the ground floor the, like it, the cellar part she was on the first floor and the fire alarm went off and she came down half naked so she was she was covered in her top and she had a thong on and she went to me, oh, I'm sorry, I've set the fire alarm off. I was cooking uh, scrambled eggs in the, in, uh, in the frying pan. And I've set the fire alarm off. I'm so sorry. So she came downstairs wearing a thong. And I was a woman. And I was pregnant. And... Um, I had to, I, well, the fire alarm up, went off and whatever. But I used to go and sit in the garden of, of the second stage housing house. And she'd be lying there in a bathing costume with men in the garden. And I was a pregnant woman. I didn't want blokes anyway. I was pregnant. And I had to just sit there while they, they all laughed at me. And they were lying half naked on the grass. And there was one time I just went out to sit, just to go down the garden. And this bloke stood on the old shed at the bottom of the garden and he went in a black beanie hat and he went, oh fuck. And started frightening me so I went back indoors. There was also a plastic castle in the garden an old plastic like princess castle in the garden of the safe house so there was a plastic castle plastic and when my kids came to visit they used to play in the castle the plastic castle um so I'm remembering bits and pieces and it all ties in with what's been going on. A plastic princess castle in the garden. And the torture of myself has been unbelievable and I want to be left alone. And I was pregnant. And the way I was treated was absolutely fucking disgusting. How can a pregnant woman slim down to the size of a 19-year-old when she's 39 years old and pregnant? Calling me fucking fat. And being nasty to me. That weren't a bloody safe house. What was it? What was it? A brothel. What was it? There was a woman upstairs fucking blokes in her flat above me. They were in a safe house, was it? And someone needs to, to tell the truth. Right, before I do, find out the truth. Plastic princess castle in the garden. It's all coming back to me, all of it. I'm taking the piss, taking the mickey. It was evil that was. I was pregnant, I was afraid and scared. Trying to hide me away in the cellar. With a plastic princess castle in the garden. Well, 
we haven't got a plastic princess castle but we've got a you know it's not a royal balcony is it guys no it's a it, it's a what do you call a balcony on a block of flats all they do is take the fucking piss and how many flats have we had balconies at you know, it's a balcony where I lived at my flat before. And what happens when I stand on the balcony? I don't wave at people. I get taken the fucking piss out of. I can't even stand on the balcony. But you can see what they're doing and what they've done. And they won't stop it. And they won't tell the truth. So... Just carry on with your lies and your hatred and your bullying and hopefully one day someone will uh, tell me the truth. See you later.